Hi guys, it's Lynn Nessia, and for today's video, it's going to be a video tutorial on me teaching you guys how to draw curls, and we're going to go right to it. So we're going to be starting on drawing the ringlets, and when you draw your ringlet, you want to think of it as a ribbon, one that you curled and let loose to see it curl, but that's how I usually think of curls, so I'm going to give you a little bit more of an easier way to think of ringlets. You can think of curly hair as a S shape. Sometimes there are Z shapes as well, but that's for more afro hair types. Say we are focusing on the S shaped curls. There's the front part of the curl that usually looks like a soft rounded rectangle, and there's the back that curves to connect the front together to create that ringlet shape. Keep with this pattern until your desired length when you draw and end it with a little swirl or hook tip. Now I've noticed that I forgot to add a guide and so I'm going to be telling you this part. Some people do like guides when they draw their curls. And like me, I go right away to draw the curl without my guide. And I forgot to add that part in making this video. So sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm adding that in to help you guys understand it a little bit more and to give you some tips. So the character you see before you is going to be my own character, Crystal, who's going to be the guest for this tutorial video, since she has the curly hair that I am teaching right now. So as you draw your curl, remember that you want to keep a consistent flow with the curls, meaning you don't want to have one part of the ringlet and then the rest of the hair is wavy or afro. Those are two completely different hair types, so you want to make sure it stays the same type of texture. There are, however, different types of curly hair. In real life, some people have loose wavy-like curls, and there's people who have more tighter and closer curls. And then there's people like me who's more of an in-between, which my character Crystal, who is presented here, also has this kind of hair. That's more of a middle type of loose and type curls. And we're gonna go on with the style. Drawing curly hair on different hairstyles can be a challenge with all the ringlets, but I would recommend create a guide that helps shape the hairstyle you're looking for to make it a little bit more easier for you guys to follow. And again, I forgot to do a guide for showing you guys how I did Crystal with her ponytail. So again, that's my fault. <laughs> Now, with my character Crystal, for stylistic purposes and her character design, I have added a crescent-shaped cowlick, or also known as a hoge, which I might have mispronounced that, so, oops. <laughs> so we're going to go on with the consistency around the scalp, and of course, no one can really do all of those ringlets, including those that are behind the first layer at the front. When you draw your curls, it is optional, but you can leave some open space in between to show the length, the depth of the hair, and it helps when the front and second layer of curls are there to show your audience that this character does in fact have curly hair. Now, I have I mentioned this before, make sure your curls stay the same texture depending on who's the character you're drawing. And now we're going to be going next to coloring your hair digitally. For a digital artist, be sure to have your curly hair in a new layer. That way you can do that magic wand tool and select that the curls. In a new layer underneath this 99 hour sketch, color the majority of the curls with a gray base color. Then you can color the empty spaces by hand for whatever parts that was not grabbed by the magic wand tool. Once you're done coloring the base color for a character's hair, you can use the magic wand tool and select it. Make sure you have all parts grabbed and invert. And now with Crystal's hair, if you have a gradation or crazy multiple hair, best follow the previous steps and add the gray base and then you can create a new layer and add a new color without affecting the line art or the base color that's underneath. Go back to the magic wand tool and on your base layer or colored hair, select the outside and be sure it selects all the space around it and invert. Next, you want to create a new layer and color uh, the shading 
begin choosing that shadows or whatever is the darker color but you can do by lowering the value or playing with the hues to get the color you need to begin with and so when you do your shading you want to add shadows in between the curls behind the front of the curls or on the side once that's done and depending on your character's hair color you would like to lower the opacity to 65 percent or 70 percent whatever fits your fancy or not change anything with opacity and leave it how it is it really depends on your art style but for this character here because she has a gradation i lower the opacity so you can still see her gradation and it, sh it shows throughout next you want to create a new layer and it's going to be the lighter color for your highlights so choose your lighter color and don't forget to use color dodge it's going to make it look really pretty and it helps make the ringlets stand out more for the ringlets just make little dashed lines or dab around where the light source is going to be hitting and don't worry that it's perfect because it does help create that effect of curly hair when you look at it from afar next you're going to want to lower the passive highlights to 50 percent or maybe 60 percent whatever that suits best for you depending on your art style again and feel free to experiment with anything else that you want to do with the shading and the lighting of curly hair and to conclude this is how I draw curls and I'm really happy that I was able to share my knowledge with you guys this is my second tutorial video after a long time of not doing tutorials and I really hope you guys enjoy it my previous tutorial video was how to design your original characters or OCs for short I will leave a link to that in the description below or in those little annotations at the end of YouTube videos where you could click on it on the end card and for a bonus there is a draw this in your style challenge that has been going on in Instagram for for my challenge for you guys is to draw a character with curly hair be sure to hashtag it with hashtag Luna Lunestia curls for me to see your work and I'll feature them on my Instagram stories so I wish you guys good luck and you can always look back to this video if you're stuck or feel free to ask any questions on the comments below. I'm really happy to be able to help you guys on whatever you're stuck with. There will be a more fuller in-depth version of my curly hair tutorial on my Patreon which includes a traditional part of my audio where I discuss on coloring uh, curly hair traditionally. And there will be also a video in real time of how I drew the curly hair. And you can listen to more details and steps and becoming a star to my Patreon. Also, July rewards are now art for stars to receive high resolution art and custom colored portrait sketch from me. Don't forget, I also have a website to soon host my comic on. Once I complete chapter 1, I will be posting the pages there and I'll leave an announcement on my social medias and make a video once it's ready. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, see you later!